Hi everyone. What we're going to talk about today is putting a grid on a canvas and on a photograph. Unfortunately, I can't just subdivide my canvas and subdivide my photograph and have everything work out. I need to have the aspect ratio of my images equal. If the term aspect ratio bothers you, don't worry about it. We're going to be doing it graphically, not numerically. Uh, so let's get started. I'm going to be using this Sharpie marker. I'm using the marker in order for my lines to stand out in this tutorial. Don't use a marker on your canvas. Draw on your canvas with a 4H or a harder graphite pencil. Mark lightly and use the edge of the graphite, not the point. To begin with, I'm going to draw a diagonal line from corner to corner on my canvas. My canvas still has the plastic cover placed on it by the manufacturer. I'm using my marker directly on this plastic cover. Now I'm going to position this photograph directly in the corner of my canvas, right here. If my photograph is placed in the corner of my canvas, and if the top corner of my photo touches the diagonal, the photo and the canvas have the same aspect ratio. I can now subdivide my photo and my canvas. If I use the same number of divisions on each, the drawing of my photograph will enlarge perfectly. But let's look at another photograph. With the second photograph, the diagonal drawn on my canvas does not intersect the corner of my photograph. I could cut the top of my photograph off to make the corner of the photograph meet the diagonal drawn on my canvas, but that destroys the composition of my painting. Another solution would have me cut a little off the bottom and a little off the top, but I feel the composition needs the whole image. What I wish I had was a wider photograph. To find the width I need, I'll take this sheet of paper and fold it to the height of my photograph. Give me a second. With my photo placed here, I'll build a grid for my reference. I'll use my marker to mark where the diagonal touches my folded paper. This area, this area to the right of my dotted line, has the same aspect ratio as my canvas. So now, I'll fold my paper on this dotted line. Centering my photograph shows me that I'll need to invent extra wall, flowers, sidewalk, and whatever I need to widen my reference. I've taken a second and cut a piece of paper that matches the dimensions of my yellow paper. I'll grid this complete image from bottom to top, from side to side. I'll grid everything, including the white edges. So I don't like to put lines on my photographs. I might need to see it clearly. What I do is I put my photograph in a sheet protector like this. I'll tape the edges, and then I put my lines on the plastic of the sheet protector. If I need to see my reference clearly, then I can just pull it out. But I need to be able to get it back under there in the exact same spot if, when I'm drawing. I'll be marking on the sheet protector with this ultra fine Sharpie marker. I've taped my reference, including the paper border, into my sheet protector. To subdivide my reference, I'm going to use another sheet of paper. I'm marking the width of my image. Now I'll fold my paper in half to that mark. This gives me half of the width. I'll mark both the top and the bottom. I'll fold my paper again to the halfway mark, which gives me a quarter of the image. Now I'll mark these up here.
and down here. I'm going to draw a line with my Sharpie marker between the marks I've just made. I'll do the same with the height of my image. Mark the height of my image. Fold to half. Mark the half. Fold to the quarter. Mark the quarter. Having marked the divisions, I'll draw the horizontal lines on the sheet protector. This finally is my gridded reference. I have 16 equal subdivisions, and the grid includes the added area on the left and right of my photograph. My canvas is a 16 by 20, and I've divided it into the same number of elements as my reference, using a yardstick. When I enlarge my image, I'll have a small amount of blank space on the left and right of my canvas. As a final note, I marked on my canvas with this uh, Sharpie fine point marker. Don't mark on your canvas with this. I did it just so you'd be able to see it clearly on the tutorial. I also marked on my... Um, sheet protector with this Sharpie marker. It's the ultra fine marker. That works out pretty well. You'll need one of those. I sure hope this uh, video helps.